going to do a quick walkthrough on Framer's new workshop tool, which allows for quick component building and experimentation. So starting off, there are a couple ways to get to the workshop tool, one being the bottom toolbar. I can go to workshop, click on that, and you get the workshop modal window on your screen. They give you a couple default options to just play with. Like if I click on text scrambler, you can see it's thinking. It starts to generate the code over here on the left. It gives you just like a small preview window of the actual code being written. And it usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds, sometimes shorter depending on the prompt. But let's walk through how I created this highlight text component. So when I select the text, I have my highlighter component and these are all the fields that I built out using Workshop. At the bottom of the component, it has an edit in workshop button. If I click on that, we get our workshop modal and it actually shows the full history of all the prompts to show how we got to this end result. And it also allows for versioning so I can easily go back to a previous prompt if I don't like one of the results. I started off with a simple prompt that said, create a component that takes a block of text and allows me to select parts of the text that have a highlighter effect applied to it. So after I did that first prompt, it gave me the text and I wanted to be able to kind of select which words would have the highlighter effect applied. And my thought here was that I would just add two double asterisks next to each word and it would parse that that sentence, look for those words and add the highlighter effect. And it did that very well. So here you could see on the right hand toolbar, I have the statement uncover Italy's best kept secrets. And I put the two asterisks around Italy's and the two asterisks around secrets. And you could see it worked as intended. So after I had the highlighting effect already working, I just wanted more customization and control over the color, the type, the fonts, etc. With more prompting here back and forth, I was basically telling it, you know, I want control over the highlight radius, you know, whether or not it's square edged or rounded corners. And I have a slider here. I want control over the highlight color. And then I told it I want control over the actual text color um, when I change the background. So I want to make sure that those look good. Additionally, I prompted that I want control over the font style of the selected highlight. So I went with the italic for those and I can have full control. Well, if I wanna go here and say, you know, actually I want it to be bold and sans serif. And that got me very close. Um, if I preview this, it actually is responsive and I didn't even do much to adjust that. I think I could do more prompting to make it even better. Also the ability to text the line, I could say go to the right, go to the left, stay centered. Any area you want to control, you can add a prompt and say, I want the ability to control this either with a slider or a color picker. And then the last thing I added was the ability to put in transparent PNGs in the sentence. And for that one, I said, if I add a bracket and a number, look at that and replace that with a photo. Let me know what you think. I hope you find this useful and let me know if you have any questions.